So we're back in the 401. Now we've shown you everything that's going on in the 400 and how amazing it's turned out. We need to crack on with the work back over here. And it's coming on fantastic really. The amount of work that we've got done in a few weeks is, is just crazy. So our panelling in here is all sanded, filled, prepped, sorted and ready to crack on with the undercoat now. We've got undercoat on this one section and the whole rest of it is all ready to go on now. And Ash has been busy with the ceiling. So I've got all the ceiling open here and in this salon. And Ash has been busy getting it all taped and jointed. So we can get that sanded. And then it's pretty much a complete room ready for me to crack on with the mouldings. But I'll show you what we're up to now because We've still got a long way to go in the other rooms, but yeah, it's looking good. And so the panels we flipped, and I think they look so much better this way around than what they did before. We had the doorway in the corner, which you can't tell now. And Mum and Paula have done a fantastic job just getting all the filler on and getting it all sanded. It just looks brilliant. And this corner was all completely rotten away, which again is just looking amazing. And then we have a ceiling. Ash has just done another coat on this, ready to get sanded. And then we can look at getting it all painted. But what we're up to now is here in the salon. So this needs quite a bit of work, doesn't it, Mum? Yeah. Mum's busy in the corner there. So the plan is you're going to work this way along, aren't you? Yeah, I think we're going to work that way. Yeah, <laughs> I'm starting in this corner. We've boxed on all of the waste pipe and stuff. I'm going to walk, work right the way along there. And then we'll meet mm -hmm. where the other one left off. Yep. Hopefully it won't be too much work in this one, will it? No, no, I reckon probably at the end of next week. Yeah. Oh good, we'll have it all finished and ready to paint. Ready to paint, yeah. Get the undercoat on. Yeah. I think getting the undercoat on them is going to massively change it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You'll, um, see, which, you'll see how it's going to look. But even with the undercoat on, you can get an idea of like what it's going to be like. Yeah. And if you think to be getting undercoat on now, God, this is going to be... We're here for the beginning of April. Yeah. Yeah. And we started like a little bit later than what we started the 400. Yeah. And we're already... We didn't get undercoat until, was it July? July August, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're months ahead. So yeah, we need to crack on with here because this world's going to need quite a lot of work. And we've been speaking at Eric from Authentico, the paint company, about creating a whole sort of shadow range of colours. This is one of them that we're looking at. So I'm not... 100% sure, you'll have to let us know what you think to them. So this one's different to that one. But this is the one that we're looking at using for this room. Now I don't know if it's just going to be a bit too overpowering. Um, but let us know what you think to it. And we've got some of the ones here that we've been trying. So all three of these are different. But I just probably can't tell. <laughs> But yeah, this is the one that we've been looking at. But I quite like that one. But I don't know. I don't know, I'm in two minds with them. So let us know what you think to the colours and then we can work on that. And then Ash has been busy in here, painting all of the new locking system for the final window to go in here on the second floor, which will be the one there. And then the whole second floor will be double glazed. So I will crack on now, get the sanding done and go from there.
So while we're working on the panels, there's a couple of different processes that we're doing and a couple of different products that we're using. So as we're going along, depending on obviously what gaps we've got and what parts need filler in, depends on what products we're using. So when we've got quite big gaps and they need a bit more structure, we're using a two-part filler. And what that does, that'll just also give it a bit more strength and it'll give us a lot nicer and flatter finish. And all it is is just a, a filler where you get a hardener, you mix it in and then you can pop it on and within about half an hour it's gone off and it's ready to sand. On the gaps where they're a lot smaller we're just using a ready-made wood filler and this is a lot softer but it takes a lot longer to go off, it's only about 24 hours. And then around the recess panels we've got a different process as well where we're using a flexible mastic. Now what that does is because the panels can shift a little bit and um, that just allows the panels to move ever so slightly and it won't crack the filler. So I will get this on now. I've got this mixed because you don't really get that much time once it's mixed. You probably have about five to ten minutes once it's mixed and then it starts going off. So I'll pass this on to mum and she's got a gap to get filled now. So the process that we're using for the internal panels is just a paintable mastic. Now we're just going along with a small bead right the way along. And what that does is if the panels do budge ever so slightly, then this will allow it and it won't crack on out. It'll move with it because it's a type of silicon. So we're just going along with a small bead, give it a wipe off with a damp cloth to get the excess off. And then once it's dried and painted, you'll never know. And yeah, if any of the panels ever do move, then it'll still look okay. And we won't get a big crack right the way along it. So I'll get this on now and then leave it dry. There we have it, as simple as that, just to get the panel sorted. So we'll leave that now for about 24 hours just to go off and then it'll be ready for undercoat. Crack on with some more.
So, as you can see, we've still got quite a way to go with it, but it's definitely getting there. And it is just a, a slow process because of obviously the amount that we have to do really. And this job is absolutely essential for the, the finished look really for what we're wanting in these rooms. So just taking the time to, to get into all these grooves and get all the old paint out and getting a nice, like flat, clean finish is gonna be the, the main part really for when we're putting the paint on, just so we can get that that high-end finish that we're wanting, but keeping a little bit of the, the sort of age to the panelling so they're not looking brand new. So yeah, we're getting there. I've got a couple of the panels done. I've started with the worst one. And mum's got the whole wall done on the other side. I just need to crack on with the rest of it around here now. And then this is another room done, ready for undercoat, which is great really to get another one to that stage and get it sorted. So yeah, and other exciting thing, we've been speaking to Eric, who is the owner of Authentico, and we're looking at obviously creating the colours for each of these three rooms, but also as well, we're hopefully going to be looking at creating our own Chateau de la Lacelle wallpaper. So we're going to be looking at, obviously we have got a wallpaper for this room, but we might look at changing that so we can get our own wallpaper and create our own design for the, the salon here, which I think it'll be amazing to, to create this sort of range of products from Chateau de la Lacelle with our own colours, our own wallpapers, and hopefully more going forward. So yeah, it's going to be super exciting to, to start um, working with Authentico to, to create this obviously unique wallpaper and a unique colour as well, because obviously these colours we've all created for these rooms. So yeah, that's going to be super exciting to get all of that obviously sorted. So that'll be obviously up and coming in the next sort of few months or so. Hopefully we're planning on getting the final coat of paint on and stuff like that by around about June, July time. So I think we're well on course for that because we've only got one more room after this one to get sanded and get all the panel and prepped and then they're all at the same stage and all ready for undercoat. And then on uh, the exciting part, so the mouldings and like we've just said, creating our own Chateau de la Lacelle wallpaper. So we'll keep you informed on that, how that sort of progresses and go from there. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Let us know obviously how you think in the rooms are coming on. And yeah, I'll be plugging on, getting the rest of it done so we don't have to buy you too much more with sanding and getting all the panels prepped because it's not really that exciting. But at least we've been able to show you a couple of processes of how to tackle stuff like this. And we'll see you in the next one. So thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.